In this tutorial, we're going to look at a few different effects that we can add to a project layer in Adobe Photoshop. If you double click on the area outside the name in the layer icon, a pop-up box will appear. This box contains a lot of possible layer styles that you can add. To add any of these styles to your image, you check the box next to the name. To remove them, uncheck the box. The first effect that we'll look at is a drop shadow. A drop shadow will help your image stand out against its background. Also, if you want your inserted image to appear as if it's a natural part of an original picture, pay attention to the way the shadows fall in the original picture and mimic the shadows using this effect. Make sure that the preview box is checked so that you can see all the changes that you make in the Photoshop document. To change the angle at which the shadow falls, click and drag this line around the angle circle. You can also enter a set number of degrees into the box next to the circle. You can also change the opacity or darkness, distance, spread, and size of the shadow. Noise affects the solidity of the shadow. You can also change the shadow color with this box in the top right. If you want to delete the changes you've made, you can click the Reset to Default button at the bottom of the box. This will reset the drop shadow standards to their original settings. Another useful tool for making texts and images stand out is the Outer Glow tool. This tool places a bright glow around the edge of your image. Like with the Drop Shadow tool, the Outer Glow tool comes with a range of options that you can alter to produce the best effect. There are a number of other layer effects that you can add in Photoshop, including patterns, gradients, and colors. You can also use Photoshop to change the opacity of an image. To make an image less opaque is to make it more transparent or more see-through. To change a layer's opacity, select the layer's name and use the Opacity drop-down menu located just above the layer panel. The lower the percentage, the more transparent your image will be. Now, you know a couple different ways to transform a project layer in Adobe Photoshop. 